So hey geeks and dweebs and anime weebs, I'm here again with another video and today we're going to be playing The Sims 4 Squid Game. It is like Squid Game but in The Sims 4 of course and we are going to be talking a little bit about philosophy in this and see if what they did was morally correct or morally incorrect which most likely is not morally correct. That is correct, shorty. And we're going to start off with the treadmill challenge which is red light green light. Okay, so for red light, green light, it is where all the players don't know what they're getting themselves into. They just know they signed a contract and most of them don't know why they signed a contract. They are confused. But then once the game starts, they are all fed. They all decide to go play. And of course, it was a little bit suspicious because they all thought, oh my god, this is red light, green light. Everybody knows how to play this. So, they're all, all happy since they decide that we all have a chance to win this game and nothing wrong. It's wrong with it. Nothing's wrong with it. But then once the first thing of the red light, green light, first round of red light, green light, the girl spins around and says... Um, the song and red light two people did not stop moving and so those people are being emotionally detected and they got shot at and of course under Kant's philosophical views this is morally wrong these people did not know what they were getting themselves into they only knew that they were gonna play this game for money Money, 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 money. Once they all figure out what is actually happening, they all start panicking and run for the life. But of course, since the motion detectors, whenever it's red light, um, kill anybody that's moving, uh, half of the people get killed. And that is also against Aquinas' law of sacred life. Which means that this is a point to end moral. So let's go to the next challenge. Okay. So the next challenge would be a video game. Yeah! Well, a lot of this, a lot of the Sims do like this game. So we're gonna talk about their voting. So once the voting starts, because a lot of them wanted to leave already, and the businessman, Sang Wu, said that they had a right to vote if they wanted to stay or leave the game. Or if the majority decides to stay, all of them stay. And if the majority of people decide to leave, they all leave. And so they all go in the merry-go way, deciding whether if they want to stay or leave. And then all, it turns out it was 50-50. Only one person had the vote, and that was number one, which is the old man, and the old man is actually the master of all the game. <sighs> that means it's other him to decide either if they're gonna stay or leave. Since the vote was 50-50, the old man decided that they should all decide whether if they want to leave or stay. Where are the other people? So, this would be considered morally right with Kant because he, the old man decided to leave, to let everybody leave, since he can't force anybody to play the game if they don't want to. Correct! Our loser for this game is called Henry. Oh no, I'm gonna die! Once all these people decide that they want to stay in the game, after they're being left go of, they have a few, like two or three days to decide if they want to stay and continue the game or just stay in their daily lives. A lot of these people saw how their life was and they were like, you know what, it is worth risking my life to 
have a good life later on after I finish this game. No, sir, please. Sorry, Don't buddy. kill me. Have You're dead. Oh, God. Okay, so for the honeycomb challenge, it is a little bit different. There's only two people who know what's happening in this honeycomb challenge. One is the doctor since he is helping the workers. Nice. And then there's Sangwoo. For the honeycomb challenge, it Sangwoo knew once he put in put together the the information he had he had from the girl the from the girl number 64 he she told him that they were making something sweet since she can smell it and she told him because she wanted to trust him and so after they go to the lobby and where the honeycomb challenge is being taken place at they find out that he finds out that it's honeycomb, you know, the traditional Korean candy that little kids get. If you cut up the little figure out correctly, then you get a sweet treat. And so the main character asks him, do you know what we're going to play? Um, I'm not sure, but can you tell me? And Sangwood decides not to tell him. What's happening? Hey, this is the of the chicken not telling him is against Kai. He shouldn't be lying. That is one of Kai's rules, not to lie. And also, they are in a treaty together. They decide they're going to be in a group so they can help each other win Squid Game so nobody dies, so they don't have to die. And since Sang will lie to him and he tricked him, not knowing what he's getting into, that is immoral. Under Kai. So that is another point for immorality. You only have one point for something morally correct and two points for something morally wrong. This girl, I believe, the girl with the right shirt, I think her name is Rox Cynthia. She, I'm guessing she lost. She was the first one to stand up. So she's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. So the next game we're gonna do in The Sims 4 is Drum roll, please. Cooking. See who makes the best one. Oh god, that's terrible. So for the Tug of War, I didn't notice anything morally right or wrong. They all decided to do their best, and so nothing goes into that one. But they we do have one single problem. And it was whenever they decide it's time for them to go to sleep so they all go back to their let's call it cabin or sleeping area and since most of them are starving since they're not being fed well they decide to kill one another and under Aquinas law divine human and natural it is wrong to kill another person if there is no excuse. Especially that you shouldn't be killing. That's wrong for everybody. That's just wrong. And even though they think they had a reason, there was no reason for none of them to kill. So, immoral. So that's another point for immoral. That is three points already for in only, I think, one point. They'll keep the score up there. <laughs> there is one thing that went wrong. And the class jumping one. And that is when Sang, well, a lot of the characters wanted the other ones to go first. And they were pushing one another because they just wanted the other guy to go forward. Which Fletcher would say that for them to try to save themselves would be okay. So killing another person, if you need to save your own life, would be okay under Fletcher. But these people could have been saved unless. They, they couldn't be saved, honestly. For, so Fletcher would agree with all of what they did. Push the other person. Because if they didn't do that, then everybody behind would have died. So their only option was to either push the guy in front of them because they didn't want to move. Or 
just die. Everybody just die. So that's morally correct, I guess, even though it feels morally wrong. So that's two points for morally correct for what they did. And I guess three points? I kind of lost count. They're all gonna cook some mac and cheese. So we only have three players left. And there's only gonna be two survivals from this one game. In this last game. And so we have the dinner scene left. And we also have the scene of the last two players killing one another. For me, I don't have anything to say for the cooking scene. The cooking scene, I mean the dining scene. Because they were all just eating. Except for once they finished eating, they were allowed to keep their knives. They were all allowed to keep their knives. They're in the they're for the finalists, the last three players. And so whoever is the last one, whoever stays alive, the last two stay alive, they go and continue the game. So they kept their lives. They did this on purpose because they knew that only one person was going to win. And so they finish eating, they go to sleep, the lights turn off. Sangwoo decides to protect 64, the one girl that's left, because he doesn't want to be alone and he's afraid of Sangwoo after just pushing another person and him thinking that he was a good moral person. So, we're gonna enable self defense for these people since that's what happens in the night scene. They all ate, and now we're gonna make them all try to kill one another because that's what happens. And whoever is the one person left standing is the one who lives. So, we're gonna talk about Sangwoo. Sangwoo. He decided to keep his knife and after the lights turned off and Sam Wu decided to walk towards the last girl, 64, 64 or 67 and decided that he's gonna kill her. He's like he saw her weak and didn't want her to suffer anymore which I don't know where to categorize this. I don't personally feel like he should have. But at the same time, his point was that he was pitying her and trying to relieve her from pain because they were not giving her medical attention and she was just slowly bleeding out until she died. And you can see the positive and the negative, so I'm just going to give a pat point to both sides and see where it goes. We interrupt this program. Let me show you my outfit for today. It's looking dress pretty while we wait for these people to finish sleeping oh god where are they oh god what happened oh <laughs> they killed the oh god he oh god there's only two people left so the last one the last game it's a little bit different they're all they're both beating each other up the last two guys sang and the main character are beating each other up to see who wins but at the same time one of them commits suicide because he saw what he did was morally everything he did was wrong he pushed into the person he which means he again again Aquinas, against aquinas believes and he went against Fletcher well he didn't go really against Fletcher because what they're all doing is doing what's best for themselves and that goes against every natural law anything natural law divine law human law anything that goes against everything since your own life is more important than ev than anybody else's life you're supposed to protect yourself before you protect anybody else but he did go against Kant's laws and ideas. And so going against his ideas, he betrayed his best friend. He lied to him. He also k 
killed a guy he made trust made um the trusted him so much because he gave him money he gave him money to go to get food he gave him money to get a taxi to see his family and he betrayed him by he gave him a bag of rocks instead of his actual marbles and told him count around the people and see if what he if they're all good or anything so he started to feel guilt from everything he did so he committed suicide which is against Aquinas law of divine law you shouldn't kill yourself it's divine God said you shouldn't kill yourself and so you shouldn't don't you dare disobey me Coraline ah, only two players left so I will say that squid game the fault mostly does fall with the people who made the game but at the same time it does fall with people who played the game because everything they did they, they betrayed one another they killed other people even though they didn't kill them themselves so they went again cons they went against Aquinas some even went against Fletcher but we don't but Fletcher mostly believes that one should protect oneself and so we're gonna see who wins of course I believe the guy sh this guy should win since the other girl just went on a murder spree if he survives or who wins And we have our winner, the one who felt the worst, which his name is Cliff. So at the end of the day, I do think the fault does fall on both the players and the game master and people who created this game. Hope you guys have a great day and see you guys soon in the next video. Go check out my editor, Derek. And have a great day. Bye.